Today in our 2010 Toyota 4Runner, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Kurt front mount trailer hitch receiver. This is a custom fit 2 inch hitch. Its part number is C31054. Now here's what our hitch is going to look like once we get it installed. Now these front mount hitches are really nice for whether you're doing recovery. You can slide a winch with a winch bracket right into here and secure it. We can use snow plows on the front. Even sometimes you'll see people might put a spare tire mount up here on front of the vehicle, or maybe they're going to put a bike rack here on the front of the vehicle. This hitch itself has a 9,000 pound straight line pull capacity. So if we have our winch in here, if it's rated for up to 9,000 pounds, we'll be able to use that fully without having to risk our hitch. Now, as far as the downward pressure we can put right here on the receiver tube opening, that's going to be 350 pounds. And then for our maximum gross trailer weight, so if we just wanted to move a trailer around the yard or kind of back it up a little bit, we can pull right up to it, hook it up, and that capacity is going to be 3,500 pounds. So that's the total of our trailer and everything that we've got loaded up. Another nice thing I like, our tow hooks are no longer up underneath the vehicle, so we wouldn't necessarily have to get down on the ground and, you know, kind of try to hook up our cables if we are ever in a recovery situation where we needed ourselves to be recovered. They can hook on right here to the front and give us a good pull from pretty close to the center of the vehicle or even if we had a uh, shackle that we could put in here and tie off to be able to pull directly from the front. Tucks up really nicely underneath the front of the vehicle and overall gives it a good beefy look. It's a real easy installation. There's going to be no drilling required. There's a couple of panels here you can choose to modify if you want or you can just leave them off. That's going to be up to you. Now a few measurements that are going to be helpful in choosing any accessory you might want to use here on the front of your vehicle. The first will be from the inside top edge of our receiver tube opening here to the ground. It's about 11 inches. Then from the center of our hitch pinhole to the outermost edge of the bumper here, it's about 5. Another measurement that I think will be helpful is going to be our ground clearance. The lowest part of our hitch is going to be our tow loops here. And those are going to be about eight and three eighths of an inch off the ground. And that's going to be dependent on the style of forerunner you have. If you have a more of an off-road style forerunner, well then that's going to be a little bit higher. If you have oversized tires, that's going to be a little bit higher. But I just wanted to give you that to use as a guide. Now our first step in installation is going to be to remove the cover. This is the passenger side. We got one in the same spot on the driver's side. It's right behind the front bumper here. And we've got one, two, three, four, and five bolts that we're going to remove. These clips we can just leave in place here for when we put that back up. Now we'll do the same thing on the driver's side. Now just above our tow hook here, we're going to have three bolts that go straight up. One, two, three right here. On the driver's side here and passenger side, we need to remove the bottom bolt. Now we're ready to raise our hitch into position. What we're going to do is guide the hitch up over our tow hooks. Once we've got it up over on each side, we're going to take one of the new smaller hex head bolts and one of our small conical tooth washers. We want the teeth of the washer to face our hitch and we'll thread it in the hole that we just removed that last bolt from. Alright, with that side installed, we can allow it to rest there while we got our other side installed. All right. Now we'll take the larger of our hex head bolts and the larger conical tooth washer and that's going to go into the side mounting location here. Same thing over on the passenger side. Alright, with those started, let's get our carriage bolts and spacer blocks in place. Now let's pass our carriage bolt down through the flange on our hitch there. Then we'll place on our spacer block and then our flange nut. And we'll go to the passenger side and do the same thing there. Now we'll take just a quick look to be sure we have our hitch centered here on the vehicle. Now let's get our fasteners snug down. All right, now let's take a look at our instructions, find our torque specifications to get them all torqued down.
Now for the panels that go underneath, we're gonna have two options. We can either give these back to our customer or you can hang on to them, or we can trim in the outside to accommodate where that hitch bracket comes down through. We're gonna go ahead and do that on our application. Now these two holes we're gonna be able to keep, and these two holes here on the back we'll be able to keep. This one, it, there, it's, no, there's no longer a mounting location for that, so we're gonna get rid of this tab then we're going to come about an inch in and then we'll just test fit it, see how it looks and trim more if needed. So I'm going to go right down the front edge of that tab. Just like that. Go down the other edge of it here. And like we said, we'll come in about an inch, an inch, and just square that off and see how it fits. Now we're going to come on a kind of a backward angle a little bit there, kind of clear out that corner. Now we're going to go right to that rounded edge because we just need the room. All right, and then we'll slide that in those middle tabs there, just like that. Then we'll put our hardware back in its original location. Now we can head over to the driver's side and we'll repeat that same process. All right, and just that quick, we've got the hitch installed. And that's gonna to complete today's look at the Kurt front mounted hitch with a two inch opening. It's part number is C31054 on our 2010 Toyota 4Runner.